Hi everyone, in this video we will give an introduction to reduced form credit risk models. There are two main families of default models, structural models such as Merton model based on the firm's assets and liabilities and reduced form models focusing directly on the timing of default. In reduced form or intensity based models, the default is assumed to be an unexpected event. It can be explained by many reasons that we don't try to model in this framework. The default time tau is the first time there is a jump in a Poisson process. First, we place ourselves in a constant intensity model and we consider an homogeneous Poisson process nt with parameter lambda. The probability to have nt equals to k has the following expression. So the probability that tau is below t the probability of default at time t is equal to 1 minus the probability to have nt equals to 0. It is equal to 1 minus the exponential of minus lambda t. We recognize the cumulative distribution function of an exponential distribution. So tau follows an exponential distribution with parameter lambda. The probability to have a default between t and t plus dt, knowing that there was no default before t, is equal to lambda times dt. Here is the proof for those of you interested in the maths. Now we place ourselves in a non-constant default intensity model and we consider a non-homogeneous Poisson process with parameter lambda t, lambda being now a function of time. In this case, the probability of default before t is equal to 1 minus the exponential of minus the integral of lambda between 0 and t. And the probability of default between t and t plus dt, knowing that there was no default before t, is equal to lambda t times dt. The shape of the default intensity as a function of time is depending on the credit quality of the borrower. For an investment grade good quality name, we typically observe a growing curve. Even if the borrower has a low default probability, there are risks that its creditworthiness deteriorates in the future with a higher default probability. It is the opposite for high-yield names with a low credit quality. If the company doesn't default in the short term, there are chances that its credit quality will improve in the future, meaning a lower default probability. We could assume as well that the default intensity is stochastic. A Cox process is a Poisson process where the intensity is itself a stochastic process. In this framework, the probability of default at time t, so the probability that tau is below t, is equal to 1 minus the expectation of the exponential of minus the integral of lambda between 0 and t. So an expression similar to the previous one, but using the expectation. Duffy and Singleton, in their 1999 paper, use a cox ingersoll ross process for the default intensity. It is a mean reverting process controlled by four parameters, lambda zero, the initial value, b, the long-term average, a, which controls the strength of reversion to the mean, and sigma, the volatility of the process. In this case, the survival probability st at time t, so 1 minus the default probability, has the following analytic expression, function of the four parameters of the model. It is very similar to the pricing of a zero coupon bond, assuming that the short-term interest rate follows a cox ingersoll ross process. In the next videos, we will see how to price bonds and credit default swaps with a default intensity-based model and discuss on model calibration. Thank you for your time.